Hello there everyone and welcome back to Frambo. My name is Rose Monkey and I think we're getting quite close to the end. The doctor, Dr. Dean, has just gone into the cemetery. I can't talk right now. Uh, let's follow him and see what's going on. This is your parents resting place and also yours. Yeah, in the last episode um, she read some files that basically declared that she was dead. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure if they were made up, if they're true, if there's what's going on. Let's just go with it. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. Okay. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will love justice. Use the law to punish such behaviours and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins? Are you kidding me? Alright, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Mm, anywhere we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right here, alright? Miss Dr. Dean, I'll see you soon. What? What? I. I don't even I don't even have words. Uh that flower looks a lot like the flower in the twins kitchen. So Martin. Hello father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. Mummy, this is very hard knowing that you're not around anymore. Frambo, huh? I wonder who came up with a lie like this one. Hmm. What are the candles for? Can we light them? Hmm, apparently we can. What about the teddy? Can we take the teddy? Oh, lovely little bear. You must take care of my parents. I think the bear's more there to take care of you. Um, since you're apparently dead. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a bug? Ugh, let's go look for shovels, I guess. I'm not sure I like this idea of digging up corpses. No name of flowers, maybe nobody is down there. Oh, it's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room, just my luck. Wow, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? Can I do anything with the car? Oh, crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. I hope the doctor's not doing something really dodgy, like trying to set me up to be a grave robber or something. I don't like this idea of digging up my parents' graves. It's creepy and strange and makes no sense whatsoever. And I don't really know who to trust anymore, to be honest. Did that... Oh! Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, Mr. Little Pinecone. Yeah, we met you before. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I won't harm you this time. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, oh, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. Deadly worms. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favour? It depends on the favour, giant miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door, right, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? Alright, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that counts. Is there anything in here? Maybe I can destroy his seat. Let's, let's destroy his, um, his car. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't do anything. You said you wanted me to get a shovel. If 
he wants me to get a shovel, he's gonna have to deal with my methods. Ah, you look very creepy. Wow, thank you, Giantness, our tribe, the Pinesalus. Pinesalus? Pinesalus. And now I'll open the door. Oh. Whoops. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Wake up. I'm alright, Ness, yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door and nearly killed yourself in the process. Oh, there's Fabio. Um. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. I hope those two weren't, um... Oh, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Oh, I can't dig with a broom. <laughs> so after all that... Oh! There you are, Fran. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. So he hasn't abandoned me to dig on my own. That's... Mommy and Daddy, are you down there? I'll see you soon. I don't think you want to. I don't think that's a good plan. Because this isn't creepy at all. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran, but you can do the honours of opening the coffins. She's a ten-year-old girl. What is wrong with you? Um. No, the coffins can't be open. The lids are stuck. You used them. Ew. Ew. They don't look like they've been chopped into pe- Oh. Woohoo, I'm not in the coffin. Great. That's not my first reaction, but that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Oh. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. Oh, mother, you're so skinny a bit too much, I would say. But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is that bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mummy. Oh my goodness, father, the deedly worms took your eyes. No, his eyes fell out already. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster, Daddy? Alright, there you go. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir, I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat is not my cat, they're lying. Fine, I told you, your cat was missing and maybe this one is actually your cat. Can't be, sir, I did find my kitty, you have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran, I'll take you back home take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. I'm not happy about all this. I'm not happy at all. But, I mean, nah, that has to be Mr. Midnight. I'm not buying it. I'm not sure. Oh! Um. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Oh. Well then. What's going to happen now, you broken little girl? Oh gosh. The House of Madness invites you inside. I bet it does. You're putting me in a cage now? Lovely. If you want to find those you love... In darkness, you must wake up. Gross. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Am I in darkness? The 
House of Madness. Great. Are we back in the asylum? Oh no, this isn't the asylum, this is... Why am I chained to the bed? Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. And chained to the bed. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please, give me a hug. Soon, my darling. Where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend and he's a cat. How is he gonna... But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You are selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. What? Well. Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Uh, can you, can you... Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time, or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said that everything is in my head. Everything is in your head. Can you use... With the, with the bed? Can you... Okay. The nurse has always chained me to the bed. I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. It's the midnight's bed. Oh, I can almost hear him purring. My dollhouse. So many lovely memories. Oh! I didn't do anything! And the wind took all the magical dust away. Um... Is that Mini Fran? Well, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. I know I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itwood already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. Well, she's younger than me. How does she know all this? I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. What? They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon come, came to visit me once and told me everything. He's the writer of the book. Oh, and can you tell me, then, why we see the things we do? What about if I help you to unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk? Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? <laughs> ah, she's too young for that. That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. So it happens that I'm a key. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm controlling the other me. The big, big teddy that eats big, big monsters. I'd say there's a few more differences between 
me and her. I mean, first of all, that jacket. I always must put that jacket on to go outside. Oh, my yellow dress is pretty. She's already been there. So what? She looks younger than me, but I don't feel like drawing right now. Did you do bad things? That's why you are grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. Just want my clothing to make shows. Hmm. I know the keys were, keys were in there. I saw that. I just want to have a have a click around. Did you like my show, little bear? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. That's exactly the same. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? She's totally not. The door is closed. This is completely, like, asylum land. Oh, she's... Oh, my key collection. I hope I can unlock the other Fran now. Let's see if any of the keys work. Let's see. Which key? Uh, this one probably looks promising. No. Let's try another one. This one. This one. I was going to say, this one looks like most of the other keys we've used. Aha, unlocked. Okay. Yeah, she looks younger than me, Fran. Thank you so much, Fran. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we met someday I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. Oh, the box! Palantras, you know him too. Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. <laughs> what? No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Probably. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Hmm... Okay, let's have a look around. The big door my daddy and I built together. Yeah, this looks very different. Oh, wow. So Fran is Alice in Wonderland's friend. Great. <laughs> and she's even called Alice. Of course she is. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. We have so much fun making stuff up together. Great. <sighs> how did I know that was coming? Well, I say how did I know that was coming, I didn't, but it's a nice touch. Okay, I've got a... Oh! Okay, so it's decided that all this is new stuff again because we've gone back to being normal, Fran. You had a deal, you stay here until I grow up. Or is that your lollipop? Um, it's not going to let me take anything. Those shoes look a lot like the dancer's shoes. Balloons. Balloons in many colours. Can I take any of those? Nope. Right, let's have a look around some more. I want to go through that door. My lovely kitty, I love these pictures. Oh gosh. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. You're a tree. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Yes, so do I. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do, don't worry. What? Oh, things have changed a little bit. Yeah, you've got blood pouring out of your house. <sighs> okay. We've had a look at this. Have a look at this. Have a look up here. Crayons, Lady and Arm, Teddy, Ballerina. Yes, all in its place. My legs sound as a musical box. 
Reminds me of it would in a way. Is there anything I can... Okay. Oh, I love this comic. I like the part when the alien takes the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places like a thirster. Great. Shoes. My slippers. I use them when it's raining and I can't go outside. A doll's house. With a pine cone thing. Wait. I can move things around. This is probably some kind of puzzle, but I obviously don't know how to do it yet, so I'll come back to that. I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Mummy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of insects, probably. Um, right, let's have a look at this paper. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears first, twice to the left, and once to the right. Rub it's in the eye two times to see if it has tears this time. Take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining your little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. So, two left, one right, eye twice, left once, eye once. Press that twice, that once, that twice, that once, that once. Right, okay, how do I- oh! So I've got a key, with a cat thing on it, and these. Wake up Mother Mabuka. Mabuka! That was mentioned in the book. Wait. Where are we? Mother Mabuka was mentioned... Here, Mabuka is the end of light. Mother Mabuka is letting me go in Mabuka's den. Okay, so Mabuka was mentioned there. So what did that say about her? Uh, Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The Velokas are angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles, and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. Empty case. Oh, okay. So to build the eco clock, I need all these things, and she's already crossed off that one. Right, so I need a bulb, a clock, a bottle, a soap bar, a glove, a black wire, and piano keys. I think I must wake up Mabuka. Let's see if any of... There's some piano keys. Yep. Um, there's a key there. And that looks like a thing as well. Can I use the knife to get to that? Yes, I can. Um, some of the things that were here a minute ago have gone, haven't they? The door to the dollhouse. Yeah, there was more things in here. What happened to the pine cone? I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets mad. And the work... <sighs> hmm. I want that. Will it let me take it? No. Okay, I have to admit I like this little house that she's made. You know, with the little like the little drawing pin, holding up the curtain and things. It's very clever. Um. Okay, so should I go through the door? I don't remember having the door removed. How will I get out then? I can't walk through walls. Try the knife again. Nope. Try the key. We'll try this key first, and then this key. No. Oh! This key might work with Mr. Midnight. No, how, how is that key not going to work with Mr. Midnight? What about this one? Oh, we do it this way, do we? Okay. 
Ha. You brought the door back for me. That's handy. Um. Okay, there's a bunch of doors and an eye. Is that my eye? That looks like my eye. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. That's because it's you, Fran. That's definitely your eye. How? I do not know, but it's your eye. Oh, I'm gonna go to the loop. Okay, so I'm assuming that we're gonna have to go through some of these doors to find the various things that we need to make this strange camera clock thing. Um, but obviously until that happens, um, we're going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then give that like button some love, and I will be back soon with more Rose Plays Frambo. Because obviously we're getting to the point now where it looks like a lot of answers are coming up. I'm getting very excited, I hope you guys, you guys are. Ugh, that's just, just, no. Let's try again, try again. So, I'm going to assume that we're building this thing. I'm guessing that we're going to be going through different doors to get the different things. So, yeah, this might take a little while, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Although, we seem to be getting very close to some definite answers, or very close to some very conflicting ones. I'm not really sure which. Is Fran alive? Is Fran dead? Is Mr. Midnight alive? Did Mr. Midnight kill the parents? What's going on? Um, hopefully we'll find out soon. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then give that like button some love. And I'll be back soon with more Rose Plays Frando. Bye!